Hello there. I'm just after getting off the phone with Daniel Kinahan. Uh, he's just informed me that the biggest fight in British boxing history has just been agreed. Get up there, my boy! As you all heard in the clip, Tyson Fury just confirmed that the mega fight between him and Anthony Joshua have been agreed upon to take place next year. The only roadblock right now is Deontay Wilder trilogy fight. Once that's over with, then the biggest European fight of all time should be next, as long Tyson Fury defeats Deontay Wilder. On the other hand, as long Anthony Joshua is successful versus Pulev, and as long Pulev don't pull off the upset on some Ruiz, then they should be on a collision course. However, it's ironic to me that this fight is so quick to be made, while Wilder versus Joshua was not even close to being made. And what makes matter worse, both Tyson Fury and Joshua have upcoming fights and they still agreed to fight. Meanwhile, when it was Wilder, it been four years and the fight wasn't even close to being made no time soon. Which this right here proves if the fighters want to fight each other, the fight will get made. Obviously, Tyson Fury wanted to fight both Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. It was Anthony Joshua who was reluctant on fighting Deontay Wilder. It seemed like he treated Deontay Wilder right hand like it was his kryptonite since AJ don't have the best chin in the world. So Tyson Fury is more suitable. Also, AJ performed well in sparring according to rumors when he sparred Tyson Fury. And AJ even went so far to offering Tyson Fury his help and he was willing to spar Tyson Fury in order to prepare him for Deontay Wilder so he could pull off the match and they could be on a collision course right after that. So it's safe to say that AJ did everything in his power to avoid Deontay Wilder. And as soon as Tyson Fury won, he told Eddie Hearn, make this fight at all costs. I made a video on that on Split Decision. And if you ask why that is, the obvious answer, he likes Tyson Fury stylistically. It's also a mega fight, but it's not bigger than Anthony Joshua versus Wilder. However, they were so quick to make this fight in particular, which is not a good look on AJ behalf. He have to face Deontay Wilder eventually, win or lose. But nevertheless, this is still a great fight. It's a 50-50 fight all around the board. AJ presents a style that's gonna trouble Tyson Fury due to the fact that he's skilled, has power, and he's fast at the same time with good technique. So we yet to see Tyson Fury versus a skillful fighter such as AJ. So I'm intrigued by this matchup in the future. I would like to see them clash, win or lose in the future. I want the three headed monsters to fight each other. So far two have did so, and there's only one left to mix it up with both, which is AJ. He looking to do so with Fury. He also need to do so with Wilder because that maneuvering is making him look horrible as we speak. Regardless of all of the above, the million dollar question where the fight is gonna take place because according to Tyson Fury, is the biggest UK fight of all time, is the biggest European fight of all time. If that's the case, it needs to happen overseas. A suggestion will be in the UK, where they both from. However, that's not possible. I have very bad news that might leave a lot of UK fans devastated. Tyson Fury recently relinquished his license in the UK to escape justice when it comes to Yukata and the farmer that accused Tyson Fury for bribing him to lie in court. And what did Tyson Fury do in the process? He relinquished his license like he's guilty. Like he can't beat the case because they got too much evidence on him giving up on the biggest mega fight overseas in the UK, letting his fans down, which I'm pretty sure that left them pretty devastated. So the million dollar question, is it gonna be Saudi Arabia, the Saudi, Abu Dhabi, or is it gonna be in the United States? 
Because remember, AJ said, I will not come to the United States to fight Wilder. My people deserve this. AJ went even so far by claiming, I owe this to my people. So keep the same energy, don't flip. When Wilder offered AJ 50-50 split on pay-per-view and 50 million guaranteed on top of that with a guaranteed rematch, he said, absolutely not. I owe this to my people. Next thing you know, he came to the United States to fight Big Baby Miller. I mean, for a fighter on AJ Caliber, it's not a good look to contradict yourself on the next breath because according to him, he wanted to bring boxing to the UK. Next thing you know, as long as it ain't Wilder, he came to the United States. So with that being said, we pretty much know how the story turned out. AJ got sent back right back to the UK by Ruiz and he haven't came back to the United States since. So does AJ want to revisit the nightmare? Since Tyson Fury can't fight in the UK since he relinquished his license. So the million dollar question is, where is the location? Are they going to fight in the United States, the Mecca of boxing? Or are they going to fight overseas in the actual Mecca, which is Saudi? So we pretty much need to know a couple things. If Wilder knocks out Tyson Fury in the trilogy match, is AJ going to keep the same energy with Deontay Wilder the same way he's keeping with Tyson Fury, the way he's pursuing the fight and doing whatever it takes to make the fight happen? That's what we need to know. So drop in the comment section where you think the fight is going to take place. And also, if Wilder pulls off the upset against Tyson Fury in the trilogy match, will AJ pursue that fight the same way he's doing with Tyson Fury? That's the questions that need to be answered. With that being stated, subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't and listen to these decaps, aka dumb casual ass fans slash old media that don't know ish about boxing. Of course, shout out to DBN for being the entrepreneur of new media that I'm a part of. And if you're a casual fan and you want to be a hardcore, all you have to do is click on the notification bell to get notified every time I post or go live on Split Decision. It's a boxing debate slash talk show where our key is the past, present, and future pound for pound when it comes to debating. So call in, tune in every Sunday live. Our key mix, master, engineer, produce, split decision while knocking all these decaps out on some easy work. So who's gonna put the blemish on our key record? I'm about to make history with 500 debates and 500 KOs live. And a decaf won't do a damn thing about it. So go to cojones and Debate I key and all my I keys, man. It's always a pleasure to talk to y'all. So call in too. I pretty much stay knocking out all these decaps for all my I keys. So all these decaps, go to cojones and call in. Quit eating that contaminated meat, that wild boar that doesn't allow your cojones to grow. Quit treating I key like Mike Tyson of debating, the most feared. Quit making I key the Mayweather of debating, the undefeated. So with that being said, what's understood don't have to be explained and to be continued on the next episode of Aki Aki Ak TV. Peace and we out of here.